are the old and OG money making methods of the past still viable today? Like, would this still hold up against today's modern money making methods? Well, that's what I find out. Recently, I did a community poll and I asked people, what is the most OG money making method you can remember? And I got a variety of results. So I'm gonna be testing out about four or five of them that I found to be good and that I can still do. Obviously, I can't grind Ember Rods. There's no Magma Boss anymore. You know what I mean? So here are the money making methods I'm gonna be going over in today's video. First up, we have Zealots. It's the most OG one you can think of. Let's be real here. Next up, we have Sven grinding, followed by like sugarcane and netherwood farming, followed by um, craft flipping or aspect of the dragon enchant flipping. Whatever you want to call it, that. So I hope you guys know today's video. Subscribe and I hope you found this video enjoyable. Either way, let's get into it. All right, so we're starting this off. Gear we're using, I'm using Sorrow with a Daedalus Axe and Tiger and Black Cat swap. We can sort of add health to my actual weapon. And hopefully this will be able to, you know, work. Keep on, I'm starting off with 340 million coins. Hey, hamster wheels. Finally, it took long enough. Oh, this is my boss. That wasn't my boss who was spawning. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Damn. I've been getting more RNG drops off other people's bosses than my own. That's sad. Hey. That makes me sad. I have only gotten a drop on someone else's boss. I have not gotten a drop on my own damn boss. Only other people's. Hey, thank god. I finally got a drop from my own damn boss. Hamster wheels. Just for the sake of ease, I'm honestly just going to start using Crimson Armor. I think it's going to make it easier. Because right now we're doing like 80k a hit and it takes me way too long to deal with the bosses. I'd rather do it faster. I'm having so much thoughts at, at this current moment. For example, why do wolves drop hamster wheels that are really just oak tra trap doors? Like, what is the logical reasoning behind this? Like, I ain't no biologist here, but I don't think hamsters are wolves' main course of meal choice. Like, you don't see wolves hunting hamsters in the wild. Like, that just doesn't happen. Also, other thing with that, these wolves drop you wood when you kill them. And, uh, none of these drops make any sense. So, when you kill a normal wolf, they drop you wood. And when you kill a Sven boss, they have a chance to drop you hamster wheels, a spirit rune, or a freaking quartz block that can be transformed into a big circle. It doesn't really make sense to me at all. If someone could tell me why the drops or how the drops will make sense, I'd be happy. Love of God, stop moving. I hate prey when they try to run. Like, jeez, you're not supposed to run, dude. As in shark scale. I respect it. Alright, I'm just gonna cut back to some of them with a 30 minutes and we'll see what stuff I got. Alright, so that was 30 minutes of doing savans. We keep on myself with 340 million coins. We're gonna have with 800k profit from that. And from the wonderful ma magical mystical furball, it's only 600k now. We make 1.3 million coins from that. And from Bazaar, it's 500k. So we made around 500k in 30 minutes from spent. I mean, I don't know what you expect we you get any RNG drops. We got one fur ball and a decent amount of hamster rooms. So it's not like it was spectacular. From just averagely grinding it, you're not going to make a crazy amount of money. But you don't lose money, which is pretty cool. Now, on to the next OG method. Alright, so next up, you guessed it. We got the classic zealot farming. I could not include it, just the stuff I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using not a level 100, but a mythic level 96 enderman, which will be super useful. And I've also got myself a Frozen Scythe, Ultimate Wise 4, Rock and Necrotic, Young Dragon Star. I got the speed and I got the mana just blast these guys out of the sky. Alright, let us begin now. This looks like a decent enough lobby. Alright, literally like the first fucking zealot we got. I am not joking you. I just started recording. And we've already got ourselves a special zealot. Alright, we have another special zealot. We're actually doing shockingly well. I can't tell if it's because of the Mythic Enderman or because of good luck or because of whatever. We're actually making a pretty banger amount of money. I've literally been doing this for five minutes and we've already made two million coins at least. 
Oh my god. How? How? I don't comprehend. It has been three minutes. I'm not even joking. Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell? Six. Six. I got us out on six kills after the last one. That is insane. Also, something else I was wanting to keep in mind. I started out at 281 million coins. What the hell? Another one. Another one. Oh my god. I'm gonna get nine summoning eyes in 30 fucking minutes. This l amount of luck should be illegal. It's like a 1 in 400% odds. Now, granted, of course, I am using an Enderman pet. But at the same time, pourquoi? Uh, it looks like Endstone Protector is indeed spawning. So, sort of bad health. I don't know if I'm going to do too spectacular here. I do realize that I now have boomerangs. Yeah, I got second. Did I get anything? I got a crystal frag. I'll take that. All right, now back to farming. Put on my armor, put on my pet. Oh my God. This is redonkuli. This is insane. This is not okay. I am confused. What the hell? What the bullshit? What the hell, man? I have gotten nine nine summoning eyes in 15 minutes what the hell what the hell what the ball crap what the oh my lordies what 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 did i just get a back-to-back -back zealot i just got a back-to-back -back zealot <laughs> my brain my brain confusion like, I, I'll watch back the footage. Did I get a zealot kill off? I, I think the zealot spawned the zealot, right? Like, I, I'm not tripping, right? I actually got that to happen. What the hell is my luck right now? I am... This is not normal. So I ended up getting, like, five more summoning eyes and ended up with 15 summoning eyes in 30 minutes. Which is, first off, not okay. Second off, what... I just didn't want to show the other clips because you've already seen them so much. It's crazy. But this is how much I made in an hour. So we started off with 181 million coins. So off rip, we made 146,000 coins just from the purse. If we sell my sacks, we made another 40k. Um, Alright, so after selling all of the normal items like the endstone, whatever, we made 314,000 coins. And we have 15 summoning eyes. That... I, I don't I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. This feels illegal. This should not be possible. And if I sell them, I'm gonna make 12 million coins in 15. Sorry, in 30 minutes. That's 23 million coins an hour if my RNG continued. 23 mil. This didn't make it obvious. This is not normal. You're not gonna just get 15 something hours in 30 minutes. That's not gonna happen. It did for me, although it's not going to happen for you. But either way, let's move on to the next money making method. Alright, it's time we'll be farming another work for this next part. Don't blame my scuff setup, okay? You can just deal. But currently, I'm rocking 352 farming fortune. I have an ass farming level. You can deal. Let's start farming. I'm just going to farm for 30 minutes or until we get done with this row. Whichever works. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Oh, so we just finished up farming entirely. It took me around 10 minutes to farm this entire bad boy. And from those 10 minutes, I was able to get a good amount of enchanted netherwood. If I insta-sell both these, I'll be coming out with around 300,000 coins. But I'm not going to because I'm going to put these up for sell offer. So 300k from that. And now I am going to sell this in some lakes on board. But I have made 340,000 coins from farming netherwort in about 10 minutes. Which comes out to around like 1.9 to 2 million coins per hour. And I don't really have a good setup. I mean, I've got a Newton's Hoe counter, 2.2 mil. I've got like, I've got some decent stuff, but it's not like good, if you know what I mean. So, it is a still somewhat viable method, but there are a lot better methods 
around than this one. At least for my farming level. If you have a higher farming level, you can make more money. So, so far we've already done some of the classic ones, right? This one's going to be enchant flipping. Basically speaking, you take a base clean sword, you gas it up with enchants and reforges and all that stuff, and you sell it for a higher price. It's actually a really good money making method. Now, I'm doing this with most of the high tier weapons, so I'm talking like Shadow Fury, Liver Daggers, Spirit Scepters, you know, some of the mid to high tier weapons. First, I'm going to dump off some coins, so we're starting with a clean 250 mil. Then I'm start flipping up some weapons. I'm first going to do one Shadow Fury, one aspect of the end. I'm going to do like one of all of them, so first we'll go with Shadow Fury. Buy this, let's hex, let's hex this bad boy up first. Put all the good juices on it, you know. Alright, I'm going to finish putting the enchants on it, and I'll cut back as soon as we're done. Alright, so I just maxed this out. I used half a stack of bottles, so 150k. Now this thing has got pretty much every enchant that it needs on it. it. Took me two minutes. Now we'll do the rest of this. So it needs a lifted frag, stars, and some of that. So first, let's go with a lifted frag. 70k per, or we can buy eight. Solid. I'll take that. Bang. Bang. For now, we need to put Fabled and or Withered on it. Which I'm going to cheaper, so we look at the cost. We see okay, it's going to cost us 2.1 mil. It's going to cost us 2 mil plus 1 mil. So Withered Blood is cheaper. Thus, we put Withered on it. Last thing we need to do is obviously start. And we don't have this filled yet. So we're going to wait on that before we do it. And do some other stuff. Next one up we're going to have is going to be ourselves... Let's see if we can grab ourselves a Livid Dagger. Alright, so a Livid Dagger for... This one's already got some stuff on it for 7 million coins. First, it's pretty, it's already got some enchants on it, but we want to gas this out even further. So, again, you know what we're going to have to do. Perfect. As you can see, it's got a good amount of enchants on it. Looks like it's pretty good. Now, we're going to juice it out. Next up, obviously, our reforges. Again, Wither Blood is cheaper, so we're going to put Wither Blood on it. And then, of course, we're going to need to get ourselves Essence. None of the Essence is filling, though, so we're just going to go on Hex. More we'll gas pelfies out. So you can see it's not costing us a crazy amount of money. And I got a five star liver dagger. Same thing with this one. This one costs us a good amount more, but again, it is still profit. Now we find the lowest spin for each and we're gonna put them up. For this bad boy, we bought for like 49 million coins and the cheapest five star Shadow Fury that's actually, you know, fabled again. We are looking at, I wanna say 59 mil. That looks like the best that we can do for 59 mil. And again, it's an undercut to sell faster. Just for reference, we spent ourselves 80 million coins. And if we add up the cost to all of this, it's going to sell for 90 mil minus some tax. But we've already made like 7 million coins profit, which is ridiculous. Craft flipping or upgrade flipping, if that's what I'm going to call it, works really well. Now, granted, you can't do this consistently because like, you know, if you put up five shadow theories, it's not really worth it. But because there's so much different swords and weapons, just doing this works really well. Uh, and our Withered Liver Dagger sold. Because this one's sold, we can now flip it again. Basically, I only have one up at each time. But since this one's sold, I can now go back to Liver Daggers and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to continue this process of doing these craft flips. I'm going to be craft flipping Spirit Scepters, Liver Daggers, and Shadow Furies. I'll put one up when they sell, and I'll cut back as soon as the 30 minute timer is done, and we'll see how much money we've made. All right, so our time is now up. Let's figure out how much money I've actually made if all the stuff in my AH sells for the price it's currently out for, which it will. If all these things sell for the price I sell at, excluding tax, we'll have around 113 million coins in addition to the coins we have, or a 14 million coin profit in only 30 minutes. And this one isn't really RNG curative either. So the method is super, super good. I personally recommend doing this. Again, do what I do. You're not going to be able to do this every single hour. But do what I do. Do this, do the flips, and then just go grind whatever the hell you also want to grind. But this does work. And now you've seen all the methods we're going to be going over. So we started off with the Zealots, Svens, and Nether War Farming. And now you've seen this method. I'll let you choose what you want to do. But just a quick recap. Zealots, I got way too lucky. You don't usually get that lucky. But they are still a very viable method. Even if you got like a third or a fourth of what I did, you'd still be making money. A, I thought a dragon sold. Solid. So Zealots is still viable. Svens. I wouldn't do Svens for profit. If you're doing it to like get, you know, an overflux or whatever, 
that's fine but i wouldn't really do it for profit that doesn't really seem to be like the smartest idea little farming i hate farming screw farming i hate all the f skills i hate farming foraging fishing i wouldn't recommend doing it but your call and this ahv method is just absolutely bonkers it just works it's basically craft flipping it's like my favorite type of flip except for event flipping either way if you guys enjoyed today's video subscribe like i'll see you in the next one peace out